Welcome ladies and gentlemen to my new video where we are going to be talking about lane priority and I am going to give you guys a couple tips that revolve around that. Now if you're new to my channel, my name is Lofit, I do educational content, I am Diamond 3 as you can see right there and um, I do mostly uh, guide videos, tip videos, stuff like that because I'm very poor on a micro level but I feel like I've been able to climb to the top 1% of the player base just due to my macro play decision making and just having an understanding of things like lane priorities. So I wanted to share those things with you and hopefully help you guys carry your games as well. Now if you have your own tips for this subject, I would love to hear your comments down below. That really helps out and it really just kind of builds a community of people that are looking to help each other out which I think is a really cool thing. I'm also going to put a link to my Discord and Twitch if you are interested in that. I try to be as interactive as possible with you guys. So. Without a further ado, let's jump into all of the tips revolving around lane priority. Alright, and getting into the first thing that you can do when you have lane priority. First, I'm going to just go over extremely quickly what the lane state looks like when you have lane priority. This is going to be best exemplified when you are playing a champion like Caitlyn because she is very lane dominant and sees lane priority quite a bit. So this is a common state where you have a bunch of minions under the enemy tower that are going to be focusing the tower and you are going to be free to do whatever you want. And uh, what this is going to cause is the enemy is either going to have to look to shadow you or to um, grab the CS. Both are going to be kind of a tough situation that you're putting them in. This Look at this like a power play like you would in sports. So the first thing that I think is extremely important that you guys should be doing at the very least when you have lane priority is looking for deep wards because this is going to have a huge help with um, you and your whole team because it's going to show where the enemy jungler is. If you are a top lane player, you will really really appreciate a bot lane that is getting deep wards when they have lane priority because it can signal to you hey the jungler is in the bot lane i can look for a 1v1 and it's going to open up your team quite a bit more these wards are so invaluable you will not see a very visceral reward like you will with like getting a kill right there won't be a big number on the scoreboard people won't think you're super cool for doing deep wards but it's going to help your team win and that's all what we're about on this channel this is not about a glorious micro outplay channel this is a Hey, let's go over the fundamentals and let's do what we need to do to get these um, wins so very common deep board would be right here also another good deep board would be around here if the scuttler isn't up and it will really show off if anyone's trying to grab the dragon or not and then obviously um, you can look for invades and deep boards around here or a deep board right there is another really good spot so just keep this in mind when you have land priority at the very least you want to look um, for warding if you have any questions um, I have a whole video where I go over warding if you want to look into that one you just type uh, tips for uh, warding in my uh, video library and that will help you out and that will wrap up tip number one all right and jumping into tip number two what you should look to be doing when you have land priority like this would be to grab objectives now objectives are going to be so important obviously that's why they're called objectives they're going to help you win the game so very common would be um to look for a scuttler is going to be a really good thing it's particularly if you have things like a, a cc if you're maybe a morgana support you can take the scuttler all by yourself it's rather easy and then also you can ping your jungler over to the dragon and that's going to put your enemy in a very very tough situation where are they going to prioritize their adc's farm or are they going to prioritize their um the objective in uh the dragon a lot of the times when you see an infernal people will just kind of be like hey i don't really need the the, the 10 farm we really need to contest this objective because it is rather important to the game now uh this is exemplified really heavily in the top lane in the early game uh because you can snowball quite hard off getting the plates and grabbing the rift herald so always when you have a um uh when you have lane priority, uh, always look to take objectives if your jungler is on the same side as you and it can just be very beneficial for your team. Again, it's not going to be the biggest, like you're not going to, it's not going to say 10 and 0 uh, on your big scoreboard, but it, your team will really appreciate your emphasis on objectives. Um, so just always bring that into your games. And again, with any of these tips, guys, if you have any questions, I try my best to help you out. So just comment down below. All right, and jumping into the third thing you can look to be doing when you have lane priority would be to 
invade in the enemy jungle now this is going to be extremely important for champions like zoe like leblanc things that are very good on the dueling level um you can ping your jungler say he's taking the scuttler here and you see that their blue buff is up you want to look to at least get a deep board as we said with the first tip and then look to invade and really get a lot of pressure on the enemy jungler um obviously stealing buffs is going to be pretty good but getting um this pressure on the enemy jungler is going to put him behind and your jungler ahead if you're one of those people that complain a lot like hey my junglers always feed they never gank my lane try this kind of play style where you're assisting them you're not asking 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 from them you're giving for them to them and then they will probably give back to you in the form of a stronger and better jungler and once a jungler invades once i know this is a very common phenomenon they will keep invading over and over again if they know that they have the um priority and they if they know that they have the mid laner that's really watching their back um they're going to be looking to try and push their lead as much as possible so always look to invade the jungle because the jungler is such an important role right now that affects the whole of the map if you can really stunt their growth and their progress throughout the game uh, this is going to be extremely beneficial obviously um, this might be a little bit telegraphed but uh, it can just pay off huge dividends particularly in low elo if you're in things from iron to platinum they will really not see these invades coming with the uh, mid lane unless you're uh, warded out so um just make sure, hey, if you know you're going to be invading, uh, control wards are going to help a lot, uh, sweepers are going to help a lot, and just really know, uh, you might have to have a decent understanding of how people are going to perform in the 2v2, say you have a Xin Zhao, just perfect, perfect, perfect uh, jungler to invade with because he's extremely strong. On the other hand, if you have something like maybe a, a Sejuani or a, a Mumu that are rather weak in the early game, or something like a Zac that are rather weak in the early game duels, maybe you don't want to look for these um, invades, but this is going to be usually a net positive and we just want to take those low risk high reward situations and invading the jungler is definitely going to be uh, one of them if you have any questions about just kind of the matchups like hey should i be invading with this type of jungler that kind of jungler i will help you out um just quick off the top of my head the best junglers to invade with um would be things like uh lee sin uh graves kindred um and uh <laughs> all right and that will wrap up uh this tip all right, and going over what we have number four here and what you can do when you have lane priority. Now, this is going to be a bit different than the other ones, and this is going to be a little bit more based off game knowledge and when you should execute it. And that is to dive the enemy is going to actually be rather beneficial when you have lane priority because... Um, what happens when you are in this situation and you feel like you can kill them? Um, it is going to be rather beneficial even if you um, give up a, a death and you trade one for one when you have lane priority This is going to be extremely good for you because you're going to be denying a large wave of CS Also, you can look to um, ping your junglers junglers love to do the tower dives when a bunch of minions are coming and they know that they have the support of their allied laners so um one thing you might want to be careful about you don't want to be diving things um that have a lot of uh anti-dive and like anti-dive would be something like a poppy right that stops all dashes and then can smash you into a wall so just have an understanding of what the enemy um laner is like if it's something like a nasus or a gangplank obviously those are really common champions that are dove quite a bit in the top lane um obviously this works for all lanes but um do not count this out as a situation i know when you have lane priority uh, a lot of people are like hey you should always be looking for objective control and other things like this and this and this but if you have that dive potential really look to take advantage of it and you will deny quite a bit of farm and you will just get in a really good spot and then sometimes you might even build a rift between your laner and uh the their enemy jungler because they're like oh wow uh this top winner i'm playing against is really well coordinated my jungler isn't even coming when i'm getting towered of let alone giving me ganks so uh that's my two cents if you can get a dive off it is going to be uh, quite beneficial for uh you and your team and i'll wrap up this tip all right and let's jump into the final tip for uh having lane priority now um this one's probably gonna be the least flashy but uh here let's just get in the situation i'll kind of go over what i am uh thinking about with this tip 
So when you get lane priority in, assist, in this situation and you can't dive them because they have a lot of good anti-dive or they're pretty strong or they're as strong as you at the current moment. And if your jungler is back in base and you don't really want to go into fog and get possibly 2v1. And if you aren't really feeling too safe uh, invading and don't really have too much ability to ward out. What you can look for is just a really strong back timing with it when you have lane priority. Obviously this is going to put the lane in a spot um, that's going to be pushing back towards you and you will come back to lane with um, an item advantage on the enemy laner if they are just spending all their time pushing out uh, the wave. So if you if it is possible and you know it's a good back timing, which is usually when the the lane is going to be pushing back to you, this is going to be a really good spot. I know this isn't the most exciting uh, tip for having lane priority, but it's one of the huge benefits that come along with having lane priority is choosing when you want to back and when to get a really good uh, timing and to get maybe you have like 1300 gold and you have uh, the, the tome, which is just going to be a great back. So just have a kind of... just kind of play around a bit with your different back timings and see how it goes. Uh, I, I know this is a, a really common issue a lot of people have. Uh, if you have just kind of a personal situation you want to ask me about in the comments down below, I will try my best to help you out. That will wrap up uh, the five things you can do with um, lane priority. If you guys have any questions for me, as always, you can hit me in the comments down below. Also, um, if you enjoy the content, please remember to uh, like and subscribe. I'm really trying to grow the channel, trying to hit 10k by the end of the summer. It's kind of a crazy goal but i think it'd be really cool to uh get to that spot um and as always guys take it easy